Hi friends, I heard this story and I thought of sharing it with you. I hope it blesses you. Remember September 11th attacks in the US? The Twin Towers were destroyed, the office space destroyed. Many people died. But this is the story that happened. While there were many people who died, there is a story that happened even in that wreckage. It's a story of little things. Little things are important. You might have heard and know about the company. And this man got in late to his work that day because his son was starting, starting kindergarten and so because his son, it was the first day of school, this man was late for work. And because of that, he was not destroyed inside the Twin Towers. Another story is of a fellow who was alive because it was his turn to bring the donuts. And so they sent him to go buy donuts. And when he left the building, the attack happened, the Twin Towers fell down. But there is one story that struck me. This was the story of a man who put a new pair of shoes on that morning. And what happened is, because the shoes were too tight and, un and uncomfortable in his feet, this man couldn't bear the pain, and so he asked for permission to go and buy a Band-Aid. And so he had developed blisters, and he just went to the next building to buy a Band-Aid. And the attacks happened, and that is why he is alive today. So, what does these stories tell us? Now, when you're stuck in traffic or miss an elevator, when you turn back to answer a ringing telephone, all the little things that annoy me or that annoy you, maybe think to yourself and stop complaining because maybe that's exactly where God wants you to be at that moment. If that person didn't have a blister and go to buy a band-aid, he would have died. If the other person didn't go to buy donuts, he would have died. God has a purpose for everything, even in the annoying things of life. Yes, friend, let us learn to listen to that tiny voice inside of you. Have you ever been sitting just there all of a sudden? You feel like doing something nice for someone you care for, that urge, that's God. He talks to you through the Holy Spirit. Or maybe have you ever been thinking about somebody that you haven't seen in a long time and the next thing you know, you see a, a, a cell phone ringing they're calling you or you receive a letter in a mailbox. That is God. There is no such thing as coincidence. Or have you ever received something wonderful that you did not even ask for? Like money in the mail or a debt that someone mysteriously cleared or a coupon from a department store, a gift, something you couldn't afford? That's God. He knows the desires of your heart. Have you ever been in a situation and you had no clue how it was going to get better? Maybe you were sick or somebody had passed away. That's God. He passes through us in tribulation, but He will help you get to a brighter day. Friend, no matter what you're going through, big or small, that is God. 
getting you through it. In fact, right now, he is thinking about you. This is no accident. You hearing me speak today, that's God who wanted to inspire you today. So think about it. Keep smiling. It's one of the best advertisements for God. It makes people wonder what you've got. Whenever you smile, tell them that Jesus loves you and that he died to save your life. Think about that and God bless you.